Brian Powell of Iron Far with Jorge Moore Smiles Maravilla after his wonderful run at the 2012 Western States 100. <laughs> How do you feel? <laughs> I feel amazing. I feel wonderful. Um, I think I feel more than anything, honestly, really privileged. Um, I, I felt that I had so much love and support, and it's just uh, remarkable to just be a part of this community, you know? I see a man right there who was also very supportive, Mr. AJW, and you being out there supporting us all, and I feel great. My legs, surprisingly, are feeling yeah. pretty good. Well, you worked hard to get this one. You ran a couple races to try to get your qualifier, and uh, yeah. where did you eventually get that? Did you get your Montreal Ultra Cup? I uh, finally got it at Leona Divide, which was uh, ended up getting third there, just behind Mr. Timothy Olsen, who had a remarkable race yesterday, and I couldn't be happier and proud for another guy. You know, he's a good friend of mine, and I just so happy for him. You know? And uh, that was a battle too. I learned a lot about myself mentally and physically at that race. At the Leona Divide, Leona Divide. Yeah. yeah, yeah. For People sure. really didn't know, wouldn't have known you last year from anybody, but this year you built quite a reputation as both a racer. And your attitude on the course. You're an instant crowd favorite. Uh, what, what I is, wonder what it is. No, but is it <laughs> is your positiveness? Is it for you? Is it for the crowd? Is it is it just the way you live? It's. I'd have to say it's all of the above. Honestly, I mean, I always try to. I'm always smiling every day. Um, I like. I feel like you know everyone who's out there is out there just supporting us and it's like I love sharing my energy with them and hopefully them generating energy and it's kind of like a reciprocal effect you know what I mean it's like mm -hmm. I love making them laugh and smile and then their energy then kind of I, I fuel off of that. Now see a lot of people can't they get that energy and say a Michigan bluff or force tail and they almost get too amped and they run really hard and then they fall apart five minutes or ten minutes later they're a little tired. Mm -hmm. Are you able to carry that wave of energy down the course? Yeah. I'd have to say so, yeah, I think so. I think I, you know, each aid station, I was just really trying to make everyone laugh and have a good time. And then uh, the last few aid stations weren't as funny. <laughs> as much energy, but certainly uh, I do. I think I, I carry uh, all of that energy for sure um, from each aid station and just being a part of the community. Yeah. yeah. Was this your first 100 mile? It was not. It was, okay, where else? It was my second. Uh, last year I ran Tahoe Rim Trail 100 and uh, finished that one. Yeah. So, but this in, one. In first place. Yeah. <laughs> so it's been a long day. Yeah. yeah, yeah. <laughs> um, but this was, I'm sure, top of that experience. Have you had a, is this your, I mean, you have to say this is your best race. Absolutely. Absolutely. I really, um, I had some goals set and achieving them is just remarkable, you know, and, and particularly at this stage, you know, I mean, this is like 2012 Western States and like I came in to you guys at um, Robinson's Flat. And you guys were like, how are you doing? How are you feeling? And I'm like, are you kidding me? I'm running Western States. He was literally like that. <laughs> <laughs> and it, I just felt that vibe and, and the privilege and just feeling like, man, I'm really, I'm running well. I'm running smooth. I'm running within myself. I'm dictating my own race. And I feel very privileged. And just to think like, wow, like, we're I can run. run. Were you 7th or 8th? I was 8th overall. 8th overall. Your time yesterday? 16.05. Which, I mean, for me, is like, really? I'm a 1605 guy at Western States. Sure, the weather was favorable to us and everything else, but I'll take it. I mean, top 10 at Western? It's amazing. Did you have any, did you have any low spots? You can be honest here. Did you, did you, were there any places you struggled out there? Physically, um, mentally? You know, thankfully, I was on top of my nutrition, so I had no cramps all day, which is amazing. Um, I think like most racers out there, the later miles, any downhill sections were like, oh, this is a quad buster course, <laughs> you know? My quads were feeling it a bit, but somehow I was able to manage, kind of just keep moving. Uh, someone pointed out to me, I don't know if it's true, I'd have to look at the details, but like, I think at Highway 49, I think Macri had like a 35 minute lead on it, and I ended up finishing about 7, or what was it, let me see. 12 minutes behind him. So he had a pretty good, pretty good little stretch there at the end, you know? Felt good, and uh, uh, also I think I was like 15 minutes behind fourth place, so it's like, 
an historic year for Western students. Yeah, you know, it's like, if anything, I feel, again, just so privileged, and I feel that I'm also just feeling like I'm gaining some confidence, you know, gaining some confidence that perhaps I didn't quite have in myself. I'm just kind of running, you know, it's like, I'll just throw the shoes on and run. Now I'm like, I'm gaining some confidence and so it's getting little... hungrier and just want to train harder and just be like, hey, I, this is a great community to be a part of, you know? For sure. So, so where are you going to take that confidence next? Um, Any big plans for this? Yeah, I'm registered for uh, Speed Goat 50K. Excellent. Well, we'll be there. And that, congratulations on your run yesterday. Thank you. We'll see you in Utah in July. Yeah, and thank you for your support and for uh, providing so much that you do for our community as well. As you say, it's a privilege. <laughs> thank Thanks, you, Brian. Thank you. By the way, I like your nickname. Which one is that? More smile, Jorge. More smile. <laughs>